Welcome to The Resurrection of Lord Jesus Christ from the Gospel of Luke, Vegetarian, in the Holy Bible, Part 1 of 2, on Words of Wisdom. Jesus Christ, Prophet, Son of God, Prince of Peace, Savior and Friend. He is known by many names. The birth in Bethlehem of this beloved spiritual master marks the beginning of the Western calendar. So important was his influence on humanity. Lord Jesus taught God's love and forgiveness to all people with open hearts. He is especially loved and remembered because of his sacrifice to cleanse the sins of his disciples and of the world. Three days after his crucifixion, he arose from the dead, as witnessed by some of his disciples. Today, we will read from the Gospel of Luke, which depicts how Jesus, from his birth to his death and resurrection, unfolded God's covenant and kingdom on earth. As he restored the lives of the poor, the sick, and the outcasts, he brought freedom and the eternal kingdom of God to those who had faith in him as the Chosen One, the Son of God. In this Gospel, Jesus predicts that his mission will be one of suffering, and through his compassionate service to all, he served as a loving example for his disciples to follow. The author of the Gospel of Luke is widely viewed as Luke the Evangelist, one of the 70 Apostles of Lord Jesus Christ. Now we would like to present selections from chapters 22 and 23 from the Gospel of Luke in the Holy Bible, where the Lord Jesus foretells the betrayal by one of his disciples and the suffering he must endure before entering the kingdom of God. Judas agrees to betray Jesus. Now the festival of unleavened bread, called the Passover, was approaching, and the chief priests and the teachers of the law were looking for some way to get rid of Jesus, for they were afraid of the people. Then Satan entered Judas, called Iscariot, one of the twelve. And Judas went to the chief priests and the officers of the temple guard and discussed with them how he might betray Jesus. They were delighted and agreed to give him money. He consented and watched for an opportunity to hand Jesus over to them when no crowd was present. The Last Supper. Then came the day of unleavened bread. Jesus sent Peter and John, saying, Go and make preparations for us to eat the Passover. When the hour came, Jesus and his apostles reclined at the table, and he said to them, I have eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. And he took bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. But the hand of him who is going to betray me is with mine on the table. The Son of Man will go as it has been decreed, but woe to that man who betrays him. Jesus prays on the Mount of Olives. Jesus went out as usual to the Mount of Olives, and his disciples followed him. 
On reaching the place, he said to them, Pray that you will not fall into temptation. He withdrew about a stone's throw beyond them, knelt down and prayed, Father, if you are willing, take this cup from me, yet not my will but yours be done. An angel from heaven appeared to him and strengthened him. And being in anguish, he prayed more earnestly, and his sweat was like drops of blood falling to the ground. When he rose from prayer and went back to the disciples, he found them asleep, exhausted from sorrow. Why are you sleeping? he asked them. Get up and pray, so that you will not fall into temptation. Jesus arrested. While he was still speaking, a crowd came up, and the man who was called Judas, one of the twelve, was leaving them. He approached Jesus to kiss him, but Jesus asked him, Judas, are you betraying the Son of Man with a kiss? Then Jesus said to the chief priests, the officers of the temple guard, and the elders who had come for him, Am I leading a rebellion that you have come with swords and clubs? Every day I was with you in the temple courts, and you did not lay a hand on me, but this is your hour when darkness reigns. Then the whole assembly rose and led him off to Pilate, and they began to accuse him, saying, We have found this man subverting our nation. He opposes payment of taxes to Caesar and claims to be Messiah, a king. So Pilate asked Jesus, Are you the king of the Jews? You have said so, Jesus replied. Then Pilate announced to the chief priests and the crowd, I find no basis for a charge against this man. But they insisted, He stirs up the people all over Judea by his teaching. He started in Galilee and has come all the way here. Pilate called together the chief priests, the rulers and the people, and said to them, You brought me this man as one who was inciting the people to rebellion. I have examined him in your presence and have found no basis for your charges against him. Neither has Herod, for he sent him back to us. As you can see, he has done nothing to deserve death. But the whole crowd shouted, Away with this man! Release Barabbas to us! Barabbas had been thrown into prison for an insurrection in the city and for murder. Wanting to release Jesus, Pilate appealed to them again. But they kept shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! For the third time he spoke to them. Why? What crime has this man committed? I have found in him no grounds for the death penalty. But with loud shouts, they insistently demanded that he be crucified, and their shouts prevailed. So Pilate decided to grant their demand. He released the man who had been thrown into prison for insurrection and murder, the one they asked for, and surrendered Jesus to their will. The Crucifixion of Jesus As the soldiers led him away, a large number of people followed him, including women who mourned and wailed for him. Jesus turned and said to them, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, weep for yourselves and for your children. For if people do these things when the tree is green, what will happen when it is dry? Two other men, both criminals, were also led out with him to be executed. When they came to the place called the Skull, they crucified him there, along with the criminals, one on his right, the other on his left. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. One of the criminals who hung there hurled insults at him. Aren't you the Messiah? 
save yourself and us. But the other criminal rebuked him. Don't you fear God, he said, since you are under the same sentence? We are punished justly, for we are getting what our deeds deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus answered him, Truly, I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Being vegan is beyond just protecting animals and the planet. It's protecting my energy field from toxic chemicals. Will, I am vegan. Spiritual viewers, thank you for your company for today's words of wisdom. 